Yo, what up, guys? Brief Five D here. This is the Fusion Event Calendar for Grishak Vemon Lord, and I want to take my time to break it down for you. Understand what's coming, how you should plan towards it, and the best way to achieve this legendary fusion, or if you're going for any of the epics without breaking much, much sweat. So let's head right into it. There was some delays in releasing it, but finally it's out right now. A little bit late, I think an hour behind, like they normally do. So this time it's looking a little bit different. They did had a little bit of um changes right here to let us know what we are getting from each um tournament or events which is a nice one we're always coming to this calendar looking how we can cheat the system save more on our resources and beat it without you know um, breaking sweat like i said but the only thing i can realize on this one so far is that plerium has lost their mind they've lost the plot entirely in a good way that is <laughs> this is not a bad thing we are not having any champion chase in this one yes it's it's crazy i know it's unbelievable i'm still looking using a telescope to look where i can find the champion chase on this entire calendar it's not found now this has never been done for a legendary fusion this good where we are seeing plerium say we don't want you to pull shards twice for a legendary fusion it has never happened I don't think so. This is normally you expect from an epic champion fusion where they just say, do only summon rush. But this time around, we have only summon rush here, right here on the calendar and no champion chase the entire rest of the week until the fusion ends. So, what, what gives? This is suspicious. That's suspicious. That's weird. Very, very suspicious. What's, what's the catch? <laughs> what's the catch what what are we gonna pay for what are blood and, and blood and sweat and sweat for missing out on a champion chase i guess a lot of people do have a lot of resources saved up in terms of champions in their um summoning portal to complete a champion chase without summoning shards maybe that's the idea they're thinking of from they're like let's not make them pull their champions during a champion chase let's save it for cvc <laughs> i don't get it it's very very suspicious i'm telling you does this mean the events tournaments points or something will be higher than we expect them to be i've already started doing um what do you call it now ice golem and it looks like it's a normal 2750 points ice golem it's a normal points one and another thing that i noticed is that this time playroom didn't start ice golem the first day and start um what do you call it champion no dungeon divers the next day this time ice golem and the dungeon divers started at the same time is does this mean this company is actually listening to our cries normally they just do you a something where they make the dungeon divers start tomorrow and you waste all your energy right now today for ice golem and then the dungeon divers still goes on after ice golem has ended you're like come on the two is supposed to start at the same time get the number of points end at the same time so i can just keep farming it but sometimes they just push the dungeon divers a little bit further so you can still farm ice golem even after you've completed your maximum points so this time around i see it starting the same time so we'll be completing both of them the same time hopefully if you're farming it at level 20 you might be able to get the required points to get the rare and stop so if you're going for the extra epic books if you're saving energy i wouldn't recommend you do that because there are lots of things that are required to use your energy the next thing that i noticed about that is the fire knight is totally on its own there is no dungeon divers attached to the fire knight dungeon divers events are three one two and three the last one is going to coincide with dragon and um, champion training we're not concerned about that one so because you're doing dragon and champion training on that same time dungeon divers will be easy to complete the third one at least but this one is a little bit suspicious this um third one right i mean this second one is it's standing a little bit on its own even started alongside your champion training event which is not a best way to get dungeon divers points but it starts it it also coincides with spider which is going to help us do it but if you're going to be spy, farming spider at 10 it's kind of hard to complete dungeon divers too if you're farming the spider at 20 yes dungeon divers 2 will be easy especially the fact that super rates is on with all these dungeon uh, that we're going to be farming so that's another thing that i'm looking at this will be a challenge the dungeon divers 2 will be a challenge for my new to pro series at least i know that i'll need to farm the spider at 10 complete the spider and then go farm dragon or something else just to make sure i complete this dungeon divers 2. that's the way i think i'm going to be doing going about it now on my main account i'm always happy when i see the spider i go in there with spider 25 
turn it on all night and let it run why because of silver that's the best time for me to farm and get crazy amount of silver 20 million 40 million close to 50 million silver during a dungeon divers and a spider event like this it gives me double excuse to farm it with saved up energy or gems yes all night so that's how i'm gonna be going about this one if you end up there's no if you end up winning the tournaments i'm not seeing any extra rewards in terms of double maybe it's not shown in this calendar i'm not noticing it or usually i see during the fragment fusion and i can see how many um rares you can get i'm not seeing any one that has double rares as a reward it might happen in terms of the tournament winners what will tournament winners get i think they're supposed to put it out there but i'm not seeing it any on any of this side of these events right here one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen exact sixteen rares so where are the extra rares for people who win tournaments because normally what i do in this type of event is i go into classic arena i finish my classic arena got get one rare i win classic arena get an extra rare which will allow me to skip out on these stupid dungeon divers <laughs> so that's something i like to do i like to win one tournament at least classic arena one or classic arena two this time around there's just one classic arena oh that's that's one right down there classic arena two i try to oh that's an event it's not a tournament so i try to win one of this classic arena so that it will allow me to skip out on one of these dungeon divers but it's not happening i guess that only happens for fragments fusions we'll see the tournament leaderboard right now to see what i'm talking about maybe i'm getting it wrong right there if i head over to the tournaments see what the leaderboard or somebody who wins ice golem what do you get for winning ice golem at the top reward because there is a tournament right there starting going on so we can verify that right now if we can get any extra rares ice golem you have entire three days to do it so that's enough time 2250 points is okay like i said if you're going to be going for this extra book make sure you use free energy not saved up energy or gems because you do have a lot of other events coming along the way what will the winner of this ice golem get see no extra rare that's exactly what i was talking about i guess you usually see the extra rare in fragment fusions we don't see it in an old school fusions like this <laughs> nothing extra for you to get and grab and win and then skip out on something so basically i'm saying there is nothing to skip out here you're completing all these events to the t in order to get the entire 16 rare if you miss out on any of them guess what you're stuck not completing the fusion that's something that they they do they don't push someone rush to the end of the um the fusion they keep it at the beginning that means if you skip out on summon rush epic remember this summon rush also has an epic if you go all the way right you get up get the epic if you push this epic and get one copy of her guess what you can skip four rares yes you can skip four rares except this is something you want one copy of her she is not the best out of the four i just did a video this morning breaking down the four epics telling you which one to go for and which one to skip out on if you're a new player you're just going for one of the epics check out that video right there you'll see which of the one is out of the best is the best out of four of them i mean so check out that video posted this morning also so that's this fusion calendar there's nothing strange going on but i'm just saying it's very suspicious for us not to have champion chase in an awesome fusion like this the one of the best fusion of the year because i have saved up for champion chase i'm well prepared for champion chase for for them not to add it a lot of players will benefit from it. a lot of players who are even thinking of skipping out on it because they, they don't have enough shots to pull for both events right i'm gonna be maybe deciding to go for this one because champion chase is not out of it you don't need to push out on friday and push out next week again no this summer rush will also coincide with a 10x and 10x is not the best time for you to pull your shots by tomorrow or today we'll know the 10x event that is going to be going on whether it's going to be special enough for you to pull and go the extra mile for this epic champion or you just pull enough to stop here and save the rest of your shots for january all right i don't think there's anything else special about it artifact enhancement we have one 
two, and three. Whew. I only have 8 million silver on the Noob to Pro right now. Am I going to have enough to do Artifact Enhancement three times? Well, we're going to be taking enough, a lot of gear to four and eight. That's how we're going to be completing it. I don't have enough silver, obviously, to take gear to 16. So by four and eight is how I'm going to be hoping to complete Artifact Enhancement. Champion training is just one and two. Not a problem the, sh the second one is short so that's not an issue but the first one seems very very long you might want to start your champion training with um bruise right start your champion training with bruise first and then when dungeon diver start you start going crazy in the campaign that's how i was always approach it when the champion training starts on its own like this without a dungeon divers i don't go crazy with my energy inside the campaign and by the time you complete this first rare get this first second rare get this third rare and artifact enhancement got this fourth rare you might able to fuse one epic yes that's fuse right make the four rares into one epic by the time this first champion training comes up so you use this champion training to level up all these rares and make that epic because there's no champion chase going on so that's the time for you to take that epic to five star because remember you have to make these epics four of them into five stars so make the first one five star in this champion training and maybe the second one can come up during the second champion training so it's good that they kept this second champion training at the end so we have by then we collected a lot of rares maybe up to um how many 12 <laughs> hopefully and the last four will be the last one so this champion training will be awesome to level up all the rares and epics to five star ready for the fusion all right no champion chase Again, this is extremely suspicious. I'm hoping none of the events and um, points just go extremely high because Champion Chase has been removed. Damn. This is suspicious, but I like it. I like it. This player on being nice. This is a Christmas reward, I guess. So if you're not going for the fusion before, does this change your opinion about it? Are you all of a sudden going to go for it because you realize you don't have to pull shots twice? Let me know what you think about this um, fusion calendar. I've done my best to break it down. There is nothing to skip out on. You have to complete every event, every tournament. And I'll be showing you what I'm working on as I'm going along, especially from the noob to pro perspective. I'm surprised that I was able to beat Ice Golem at level 20 <laughs> using this team. I'm probably going to take out one of these new cards. Maybe Terrell was, I mean, K was too weak. He went down during the waves. So I'm probably going to put um, my speed booster, what's her name? Abita in there or somebody else let me know how you guys are doing with this fusion do you like the calendar is this the best one you've seen <laughs> let me know your opinions in the comment below and check out that video i did about the four epics i think i loved it it's an awesome one hit that like button for me in this video and subscribe to my youtube channel for more raid shallow legends content i'll be giving daily updates about my fusion and uh, progress so far from the noob to pro perspective later guys